Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday weigh-in day. If you want to hear how I did on the scale this week, then stay with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy and I am planning us healthy. So I'm gonna get right to it. I'm not gonna share my husband's. He is actually doing something different now. He is going to be now starting to lift. So he is now increasing his food intake and gonna be lifting weight. So he, his goal now is to be kind of gaining so that he can gain more muscle. So he's doing it the right way. This week, I, had, I thought I had a pretty good week, but the scale did not show it. I got on the scale this morning and you guys, I was up two pounds. I was actually really upset at first. I went through my normal, oh my gosh, why am I gaining? You know, the all the head games that we do with ourselves. I really kind of thought it because I, I can tell that I'm retaining water. I actually had like some edema in my legs last night and I thought that was strange. So I thought, well, I clearly am retaining water. But then I remembered that last Thursday after weigh-in, we actually had a food day at work. And that's fine. We do th food days and a lot of times I will use my weeklies um, like the day or the day after I weigh in or if we have an event on the weekend, I will always use those. But the problem is I had to kind of estimate at those weeklies and I think honestly throughout the whole week I just used all my weeklies and I can't my body does not like to use all my weeklies I usually can do good at about using half of them but usually if I use all my weeklies for some reason my body doesn't like it and um, it, it may be that I eat you know a lot of zero point foods throughout the week I mean you guys see pretty much how I do my zero point foods though I don't my portions are normal size so I don't go crazy the other thing I forgot about too is I mentioned in my meal prep video that I had an issue with my pretzels I was sitting there eating them out of the bag that night I don't even know how many I had so that could have been it a lot of salt in those um, but it is what it is and I was kind of beating myself up about it this morning which is not normal for me. I don't normally, uh, I'm pretty much a positive person and I usually, you know, it, it is what it is at this point. But I really was kind of uh, more upset with myself than I usually am. But I think I'm just having some hormonal things going on. I pretty much once a month still go through kind of hormonal, emotional type things. I had a hysterectomy and I've already gone through menopause. So I don't, you know, normally have my normal time of the month, but I do still sometimes feel those feelings, you know, the hormonal things, and I'm just not myself. I don't feel like myself, but I, it doesn't last long. I beat myself up for a little bit, and then it's like, just do what you gotta do. You know, I mean, this is just the journey. This is part of the journey, and we're gonna have good days. We're gonna have bad days. We're gonna have good weeks. We're gonna have bad weeks, and as long as the majority of it is good weeks, you guys know coming into January, I had a fantastic first week, uh, lost, I think, what, four pounds. So and then this morning I was listening, actually when I was getting ready, I was listening to Carrie over at Carrie's Priceless WW Journey. And she, words she said really sank into me. So thank you, Carrie, because I was kind of, you know, feeling down and out. But then I was trying to boost myself up. But then she made the comment in her video about treating yourself the way you would others. So that hit me because she said you know tell yourself positive self-talk and tell yourself what you would tell other people and i thought you know what if somebody commented to me that they had a bad week what would i tell them and so she's so right so thank you carrie for that because that definitely helped um but i mean we're all entitled to those weeks we all have good weeks we all have bad weeks i am by no means perfect i I share positive things with everybody, but I have bad days. I am I am a human being. I have bad days. I have good days. Um, I just, I'm the type that I try not to dwell on the bad. I try to, you know, keep myself positive and just really focus on the positive. And so that's, that's what I'm going to do. So this week I'm going to do real well. Um, 
I know Anita at Chit Chat Patty Whack has been on, on, on me, in my mind all the time about drinking my water. So I'm definitely going to make sure I'm drinking my water this week and just really refocus. So meal prep review, the cake batter pancake bake. So I was using a recipe from Joan at Joan's Point of Plate. She had made pancakes and waffles and I decided to kind of take that and make a pancake bake out of it. So that's what I did and it was so good when I made it. If you watch the meal prep video, my house smelled like cake. So now I'm on a hunt to try and find some other things to do with that cake batter extract because that was really good. And then for lunch, you know, I love my kielbasa bowls. Had those before and I love those. It is such a good lunch. My husband does not think that it's filling enough. Now I don't, I myself don't notice that. I feel like it's filling enough. He said that he's not, he's always hungry before dinner. So just keep that in mind uh, if you make that, that he feels like it's not as filling. I, I think it's, I think it is. So um, the other thing I want to talk about with meal prep was um, the basil Parmesan salmon. Do you remember I did not have fresh basil? So I was using the dried basil in it and I was going to try that. We didn't even notice the difference. Like I forgot that I used that and then my uh, we were eating it and I made the comment to my husband that it was dried basil and my husband said I would have never known if he didn't say anything. So I think I noticed maybe a slight difference just because the basil wasn't quite as powerful but it's I mean for the price of it honestly I may just continue using the dried basil in it. it I mean it's just it's really good so thank you all for getting on board and letting me know whether you were team sprinkles or team jimmies in my meal prep video that was a lot of fun I had so much fun with that little things like that everybody had such a good time with I saw people popping on there that never have commented before so it was a lot of fun and you know what I loved about it the best honestly is seeing you guys interact with each other. Some of you had made a comment that, hey, I'm from this area too. And I see that sometimes in my, on my Facebook page. And I, I just love that. I love kind of sitting back and seeing all you guys interact with each other. I just love things like that. So thank you all for that. I definitely enjoyed that in the comments. So Super Bowl Sunday is coming up. I think that I'm still meal prepping, but I'm not sure. I will let you know. I'm not sure if I'm going to have my grandson this week. Some of you know my son is a deputy sheriff. And so uh, he and his wife sometimes work on the weekends. My son actually is on duty every other weekend. And so sometimes I have my grandson on Saturday if my daughter-in-law is working too. So I don't usually know until later in the week. So that's going to depend on that. I don't know whether I have him to know whether I'll have time. I work at home on the weekends on my other job. So I just got to see if I have, if I'm going to be able to do it. But Super Bowl is not until later, so I think that I'll still be, I think I'll still be doing it. This is actually my one year anniversary with WW. I started the end of January of last year, so I was not, that's why, I, I think that's why I was a little bit bummed because I was celebrating my one year with a two pound gain. I think right now my body is just at a comfortable, like I'm comfortable. I really am. I know I have a lot to lose still, but I'm comfortable. I don't, I don't know why. I'm very happy with where I'm at. So I'm just going to take it the way it comes. So y'all know, I want to know how you did. Some of you I've seen already. So congratulations to those of you who have had fabulous losses this week. I'm still planning a giveaway. I think I pretty much know what I'm doing now, but I'm having a hard time figuring out how I want to do it in a video because I want my viewers to be the recipients of what I'm going to give. And I was watching Ashley over at Fit Frugal Ash and she did a giveaway and she, that's what she did. She just kind of snuck it into one of her videos. And she said the reason she did that was because there are people, I guess literally people out there, which makes sense. There's people out there who just look for that hashtag giveaway or just look for the word giveaway in videos. And then they go on there, comment on the video to try and get the, to try and get the prize. And I just think that that's wrong. I want my viewer, I want it to be one of you all. I want it to be somebody who watches me regularly. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. But at the same time, I want to be fair because I know some of you only watch my meal prep videos. I know some of you may only hop on to see how I did for the week. Um, you know, not all of you watch all my videos or nor do you probably have time. There's tons of other YouTubers. 
So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. So um, if anybody has suggestions, let me know in the comments. If worse comes to worse, I'm just gonna do a video and say, okay, here's my giveaway. I don't know, I thought about doing like a question, another Q and A video. I have lots of things in my mind. So now I'm starting to ramble. <laughs> so now I'm gonna call it, call it quits. I hope you all have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. I'll see y'all in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.